So what, what, what are we trying to do in this, uh, in this working group? Um, in the mobile system today, well, this is, um, you, have, you can have an application processor and a number of peripherals, audio codecs, Bluetooth, audio processor, microphones, something specific. And in, in most cases, they are connecting together with point-to-point -point, uh, connections. So every time you add a new component to your system, you have to have new interfaces um, that, are, that can be different. And so it, it leads to a lot of uh, interfaces on the application processor. So what we're trying to do with, with Slimbus is to use a simple uh, two-wire multi-graph topology so that we can connect all these devices uh, together and so in an accessible <coughs> way. So we don't have to redesign the system anytime we want to add a new product uh, in, uh, in the system. So um, the scope of this, uh, so what we're trying to do in this uh, LML group, so low speed multipoint connectivity. So we're trying to address uh, low power, low cost peripherals, low speed, and what we are trying to do is to be extensible so for future use cases, for new peripherals that may come up uh, in the future. So we have to be scalable and flexible to, uh, so as to evolve with uh, market demands. So what we're trying to do as well is to reduce the fragmentation. So let me, let me show on the next slide uh, what we're trying to do. Um, you have a bunch of existing interfaces, I2C, I2S, PCM, SPI, UART, and, and more. What we're trying to do is, 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 is unify this and, and uh, have the ability to replace all these interfaces by a single slip bus interface. So, so that you can have audio data control on the same bus and you can overall have a reduction in pin count uh, in the system for lower <clears throat> so we, we do support uh, many high quality channels, we support concurrent sampling rates, this means the ability to send 48 kilohertz as well as 44.1 on the same bus using the same clocking. Um, we can do peer-to-peer -peer communication, even though this is on, on the network, uh, you can uh, communicate efficiently. To simplify, uh, simplify communication, we have a set of standard message sets. So you, you, you have a set of uh, uh, protocol that enables you to uh, uh, program e efficiently. So one thing that's really important in this system is that you have the choice of several clocks to, uh, uh, in the system. So you can either use the traditional audio, audio clocks that is multiples of 48 or 41 kilohertz. Okay. But if in your system you have a 26 megahertz reference clock, a 27 reference clock coming from your RF, your, your display, 24 from USB, you can use this reference clock as well for, for slim bus. We, we have this ability. So you have flexibility in sampling rates and flexibility in clocking, and slim bus uh, addresses this. And um, the additional thing that we have on top of this is that we, we can reconfigure the system depending on the use cases. So if you're, if you're only transmitting stereo uh, for low, low power music playback, you can scale the bandwidth to, to your needs. If for some reason you start having data transfers or additional audio, uh, uh, audio uh, payloads, you can scale the bandwidth as, as, as much as you want. So a um, little bit of history where, where we are. So the, uh, the working group was started uh, 2004 to 2005. The, uh, the, the specification was 1.01 was adopted in, in uh, July 2008, and I think adopted by the board in December, officially. Um, last year, we had an interop event to verify that this uh, spec actually flies and that you know, people can uh, actually share the same bus. So what, where we are today is that we are working towards a refresh of the spec that will clarify a set of points that are that could, uh, could be misleading or could, uh, could clarify. We're looking at adding a couple of features that are that we think are needed. So we are planning a second interrupt event at the end of the year, um, and then um, we have two points here where we, we we would like to optimize for speed and power. And we would also like to define uh, 
uh, a set of device classes uh, so that it's for if you have a specific product, you, you would have better native support for, for software. If you're doing PCM only, um, you, you can define additional messages that would apply only to PCM. Okay. So this is, this is the, uh, the, the work that we're, we will start uh, doing uh, from, from now on. So who are we? So, um, so I became the chair of the, the working group uh, recently. We have uh, Hannes Adol as the white chair. Support from um, really tricky. Support from the from the working group. We have a spec editor and uh, uh, Rob Johnson and Jim Ruby for program management. So we have weekly conference calls and we have uh, quarterly face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, there's, a, there's been a lot of companies that have contributed to Slimbus. Pretty much everyone in the audio field has contributed. And we, we have additional companies that recently joined and, and contribute to for evolution of the standard. That's the end of my presentation. Are there any questions?